Hello and welcome back to Lord Fenton Gaming Plays Neverwinter Night Enhanced Edition. I'm your host Lord Fenton. In today's Neverwinter Night Enhanced Edition video, we're going to invade Kurt's territory in order to get inside the ruins of the Lusk. Yeah, that's right. We're going to go inside those ruins, all right. Yeah, we're going to raid it, all right, for this entire video. Yeah, and then afterwards, we're going to end there right in front of uh, Kurt's uh, lair. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Neverwinter Night content like this. And do not forget to hit that notification bell to be updated on my Dungeons and Dragons content and more. Now, last video, yeah, we have taken out Curse Ryle, Rom, yeah, that guy. The uh, one that's been summoning were-rats against us. And you know what? He's not alive. And now what we're going to do is invade this uh, traitor's uh, territory. I should say uh, jerk, more like it. Well, technically he did betray us, so let's go ahead and go inside and kill his men off right now. That was fun right there, seriously. We have a new uh, enemy right here, priests. Yeah, these uh, priests right here are uh, not fun. Try to do is uh, knock them down or take them out ASAP. If not, well, at least do not send your hench person over to that uh, priestess. Still, what we're going to do right now is go ahead and check the statue out. Now, if you inspect the statue, you will uh, get a side quest called the Ruins of uh, Illusk right here. Yeah, you'll uh, get, definitely uh, get that. So let's go ahead and inspect it. And boom, there's your uh, journal entry. That's what we're going to be doing for this entire video here because there's some good stuff in there. So let's go ahead and bust in there and kick some uh, foes' uh, butt. Do the fight! Victory will be ours! Yeah. So let me explain about the uh, foes and the uh, rules of these ruins right here. First of all, foes are undead. Number uh, two, you talk to the statues here. They'll give you a hint. And you need to put a certain item in a certain container like this altar right here. In order to get the entrance right here, you need a, a head of evil here. We just killed some bad guys. So we're going to have to go ahead and uh, do that. We're going to look right now at the uh, remains. Yep, yeah, there's this one right here and there's this one here. And this is just a note right here. If you want to check it out, go ahead. This just gives you orders, which is uh, very uh, good here. And there's your head right here. Yep, this head right here is uh, entrance to the uh, next uh, level of the ruins right here. So this is more like a puzzle thing, which is uh, very uh, cool too. So in other words, if you uh, kill some foes, in this instance, a whole bunch of undeads and a special one you definitely kill. Make sure you loot it up and make sure you put the body parts right there in that altar here. Yep. See, we're going to interact with it right now. Put the head there and voila, the entrance is open. Bad news is there is a trap. Rest up before you do that. And if you uh, can, send one of your hinge person over like Linlu. I should have did it earlier by sending her over at the door there because they'll be immune. Still, once you're done resting, what you want to do is, is uh, go downstairs. We're going to be facing some undead on the first floor, more like zombies. Yeah, and that chain lightning does hurt. So let's go ahead and take out the uh, zombies right now. I'll return after uh, they are uh, dead and back into the uh, ground. Will be ours. 
Now look at this right here. We're getting some good loot already. Let's see right here. Sprint mail plus one. That's weaker than the stuff I have, but still, that is great to sell right here. Let's check this out. Ooh, some uh, decent potions here. That's uh, good here. Let's see what else we could find. Okay, money is money. Still, I got plenty of it. Oh, yeah, I am so rich in this game. Ooh, that's nice. There's some good stuff here to sell. Really good. And Lily was trying to attack the gate ahead of time. It's kind of funny, though. Now, we're going to pull the levers once we do. Linlu and I will assault the uh, zombies. No order! take you now! Oh, this is really uh, great right here. Yeah, whole bunch of undead. Here's the uh, problem. I'm going to always repeat this. Immune to uh, critical hits here. Yeah, that's the only downside. Upside is they're easy to uh, kill. They're also fun to kill too. Let's go ahead and have some fun over here. Goddess, take you now! I'm going to say this, they are coming by the dozens, well, not at least a dozen, but a lot still. So let's check this out. Ooh, trap. Ooh, a lore po potion. That is really uh, nice, big time. Well, Linlu, that was a little bit late, but you know what? We're going to just go ahead and check this out right now. Might as well. Okay, let's get to work on this. Since we do not have a time here at all. Now, if this was, I'd probably say Hordes of the Underdark Rules right here. Uh, let me explain about uh, that uh, expansion here. Hordes of the Underdark added a total of two henchmen you could get, which is really good. Now, this game definitely had it back in the day. Oh, boy. It would definitely did miles of improvement. Yeah, I would have Lin Lu and Tom I. I would tell everybody to get Lin Lu and Tom I. So this is done right now. We're going to explore the south end here. All right, dear. I'm getting to it. Uh, uh, Takasi! No oh, quarter! Now, after checking this area out right here, let me explain what will happen next. Over here, there's these uh, guardians per floor. We're going to take out a named foe right here because we're going to need one item from him in order to put in that altar. Yeah! 
Well, sometimes you do have to sacrifice your hinge person. In my case, Lin Lu. The heart is really nice, though, so let's get her back. There you go. She's back. This is really good. I did rest up, too, so what we're going to do right now is besides looting up everything here, yeah, we're going to do that. That'll be some good things we're going to sell. Well, I'm going to sell off screen. Yeah, I'll do that. Or in between uh, resurrections of uh, Lin Lu here. Yeah. She's cost me money. However, I am making a lot of money. So you put the black heart, or I should say heart more like it, right there. And now we're at the next level. See, door blown open. Let's go down here. Now we're going to be facing some shadows. And watch out for their uh, hits. <laughs> Now, let's do uh, talk about shadows while I'm trying to break in and entering some of these stuff here. First of all, shadows in this game right here. Could drop your strength down to three. That's the lowest. Now, in Dungeon & Dragon lore right here, let me explain on uh, how uh, things work in that. It's a little different. Now, if they uh, keep on attacking you and drop your strength down to zero, you will die. And then, I think, one to four days later, you get risen up as a shadow. In other words, yeah. That happens to you. So watch out out there if you're playing this game or especially on the Dungeon Dragon tables. That's a little bit of a Dungeon Dragon fact from me. Let's see what we have here. Okay, let's uh, drink this up. I'm curious. See if this rainbow armor is really good. It does look cool. And ah, nuts. That's no good. I'll have, probably have to sell it, but oh well. Still, we're still going to loot everything up. I mean, this is what I do here. That's how I uh, roll exactly. There you go, we stored it. And let's go ahead and check uh, this uh, body here. Alright, a nice uh, plus two weapon here. That is good. Ooh, that's really good. Well, it's a car carbon copy I have, but still, that's really uh, good. Let's go ahead and check over here, get ready to fight more shadows. Yeah, we're going to be doing that on this level here. And whatever other uh, nasty surprises that these uh, ruins will definitely uh, throw at us. So let's go into combat right now. Yes, we're taking out more shadows. We're also being more careful too, especially my uh, fighter slash red dragon disciple and a little bit of bard levels. Yeah, that strength sap does hurt. That's like part of my meat and bone of this build here, or my character, I should say. So let's go ahead and kill more uh, shadows. Ah! <laughs> 
All right, this is cool right here. This uh, dungeon has a theme mostly, which are shadows here. Now, I'm going to explain to everybody right now. Watch out for the skeleton pile right here. I say bone pile because skeletons will spawn. Big, nasty ones. You know what? It is time to look for more trouble before looking for the name monster of this level of these ruins here. Because, yeah, once we do, we get to go to the next level, which is uh, very uh, cool. Okay, we're basically done exploring and looting up, so let me explain what's going on next here. Next up, we're going to go in this one area here. There is a water elemental we need to kill for its body part, again, to put in the altar here. We have to take care of the shadows, though, so yeah. Take out the shadows, take out the water elemental, and then that's it. This is, like, really simple here, so let's go ahead and do this. Now that the uh, water elemental has been defeated here, so let's go ahead and loot the body. Gold necklace, we'll leave it that. Look like a bowl of water right here. That's I guess that's a part of the uh, water elemental. And that's good right here. So we're going to rest up before going towards the next level here. If memory serves me right, I think that's the final level here. Still, we're doing good right here. So, so far it is two out of three of these ruins here we uh, conquered. So we're going to do the whole ruins for this video right here. The whole enchilada. So you need to do is just get up, enter this uh, level here down, and we're gonna have to kill some more foes up ahead, which is a uh, really fun at this point. The final ruins here is a lich here. Watch out for his defensive spells. Watch out for his offensive spells. They are really powerful. They are immune to crits here. Just watch out for this encounter here. Once you do take out the said lich here, you're done with these ruins here. The quest is complete. And of course, after that, we're going to loot everything up before going to the surface. So let's go ahead and take out one mean lich.
Soon as the Lich is dead, the Ruins of Illusk here is officially done and over with. It's complete, so my advice, start looting everything up. I do mean loot everything up. You're not going to come back here. Yeah, just trust me. You're not going to come back here. At this point, this is like a loot spree right here. I'm showing everybody all the goodies where you can loot things up here. I'll uh, put timestamps in the video, so this way you'll get through it quickly. I'll just probably put one timestamp for looting, and I'll say start looting everything up. But seriously, this is kind of like your extra reward for uh, going through these uh, ruins here. Exactly three levels of them. Well, this one's kind of not like a level, but still, you all get the point. So, we're going to loot everything up, and then afterwards... Uh, we're going towards uh, Kurt's uh, lair entrance. I'll end the video there. Still, just loot everything up and watch out for the black marks right here. That means it's a trap chest and you can get killed. And watch out for that trap too. I'll definitely put timestamps in the video for those. You have Tom I. Yeah, you have that uh, halfling rogue. You're in good shape right here because Tom I could disarm anything. Tom I is awesome. So now we're out of here back towards the house we uh, entered. And where we uh, put the uh, skull head there and let us inside these ruins here. So we're going to get out of here. Go ahead and kill uh, Kurt's uh, men here after we rest up. Do rest up before you go outside. Because you clear out all the foes, you got a free rest spot right here. Free from danger, free from harm, free from uh, getting uh, mauled. So after we are done resting, we're going to go outside. And we're going to start clearing out this... Uh, territory here yeah this guy betrayed us and you know what he's gonna pay for it at least he's gonna lose revenue and uh money because he paid the hench uh persons who uh he hired to attack us so let's go ahead and kill these uh foes asap like now Looks like Baron's rejects decided to join in on the fun too. You know what? Let's go ahead and kill them all. Okay, we got one more set of foes to clear out, then I'll end the video there right up ahead. Before we do that, let's go ahead and uh, steal some stuff. Yeah, our curse is not going to need it anymore. Okay, that's good to sell. Let's clear out the uh, front door, shall we? You now! 
Let's check out that pile of bodies here. Ooh, a tower shield. Hopefully that is a upgrade. So let me, uh, oh wow, that is really nice here. Yeah, that is an upgrade. I'm not gonna face uh, undead no longer in this chapter here, I don't think. I might be wrong though. There you go. We got that shield done. So let me give a lowdown in today's video right here. The Ruins of Illusk here, yeah. We finished that up. We clear out Kurt's uh, territory here. In our next video, we're going to do Kurt's lair, turn in the uh, seal to our spy master, and go inside the first floor of the host tower. This is it for my Neverwinter Night Enhanced Edition video. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day or night.